Hi, I'm Wayne from TC Electronics and Marine. And um, what you're looking at here is a Mercruiser Alpha 1. And I believe it's off of. Let's see if we can see it here. Yeah, uh, it's off of 5.7. Okay. And it's just a regular Alpha 1, the very first one that came out. Um, for those of you who don't know whether you have an Alpha 1 or Alpha 2, or Generation 2 as it's called, uh, the Alpha 1, the top on it is 4 and 3 quarter inches by roughly 4 inches. Okay. You're probably going to want to know that when you're ordering your uh, prop um, to change the impeller okay so that's almost four and four and three quarters by four and that's an alpha one mm. Now this this particular Alpha One was brought to us um, to have the impeller changed, so we are we're going to have to take it apart. Um, we're going to have to separate the upper from the lower. This is what they call a lower unit, the very bottom here. It's your prop shaft. So we're going to separate the upper and the lower, but in this particular unit. Um, the upper gear case, um, we'll probably do a separate video for it, but um, he's getting a lot of uh, noise coming from the upper gear case. Could be a bearing or could be the gears worn or I guess we'll find out when we open it up. Um, but for the purpose of this video, we're just going to separate the upper from the lower. Um, so so that the regular person uh, watching here or phoning me and asking me for instructions um, it's far easier to send them to the web and let them watch this video um, don't have a lot of experience um, doing these videos so you'll have to bear with me but it'll give you something to go by anyhow to separate it up Um, the next thing is we want to make sure that you know how to tell an Alpha 1 from a Gen 2. So because this is going on the Alpha website that I have, um, we're not going to confuse the issue. But So this is an Alpha 1. That's what it looks like. And this is going to be about 3 and 7 eighths, almost 4 inches. And it's about four and three quarter or four and a half four and five eight something like that wide okay the gen 2 is about four inches wide but it's about six inches um, okay so you can tell there's a big difference between the gen 1 and the gen 2 the top cap is about six inches on the gen 2 I don't have one handy, but uh, I'll probably be doing a Gen 2 video on how to change the water pump anyway. But I just want you to, when you're ordering, I need you to know whether you have a Gen 1 or a Gen 2. So this is a Gen 1. Okay. So 5 inches by 4 inches, more or less. Uh, another thing you need to know before you start out would be that you're going to need a few tools here. So to separate it, you're going to probably use the screwdriver to um, drain the oil for the oil plugs. You're going to need an Allen key, um, and it's three eighths of an inch. Uh, and the reason I'm trying to put it on here is for some people have a better chance of if they saw it, but anyway, it won't come up. So. It's three eighths of an inch Allen key. Um, it's five eighths socket, 
probably going to want to have any kind of a socket wrench and if you have one of these uh, flex sockets it's, it makes it a little easier sometimes um, and that's five eighths of an inch and you're going to need um, some other parts when we get to the um, to the water pump but I'm I'm gonna separate it up just using these tools first because some people are just gonna separate it up and take it into their local uh, marina so let's just I'm gonna do this step first Okay, so step one is we're going to pull the Allen bolt out of here and okay, so is that located at the back? Sometimes there's a plastic cap. There's actually supposed to be one on here, but on this particular one, someone had taken it off and never replaced it, which is normally the case. Okay, so we're going to take this Allen bolt off, which goes through here, and it holds the antode on. Now, in this particular case, I've already loosened it off and uh, turned it three or four threads, so it's going to appear to come really easy. And it just came off. And this is the bolt, okay, that we just took off. And that's what the anode looks like. This one hasn't been off for a long time. It's all pretty corroded. Okay. As you can see, I even have trouble pulling it out. And more than likely, I'm going to change that uh, bolt that's down inside. It's pretty. It's a, even though it's stainless steel, it's a little corroded as well. Okay, step number two, there's a 5 8 um, nut at the front. Okay, it's just in front of the shifter here. And once again, the shifter needs to face the front. Okay, that turns, goes into gear this way by turning, this would put it into gear. I would put it neutral and when it's at the very front here it would be in forward so once again you need to leave the boat in forward gear as if you were driving it in forward before you take the out drive off okay so we're going to remove this and to speed up the video for the most part I, I'm just going to I'm not going to show you me taking each individual piece off. I'm just going to show you roughly on the bulk of this, uh, just where the parts are. Uh, I think people will get the idea from that. Thanks. Okay, the next on item on the agenda, once we've taken off this one here is we got to go to the sides and loosen these off you you're going to loosen off this side and this side here okay um but you won't be able to take them off until we start separating it we need all of the other bolts out before we can do that so at this point we're just going to loosen these two off okay and I mean, you're going to be looking at your boat from, I guess, this view. I'm kind of cheating because I have a fixture here to hold it with, but um, you get the idea anyway. Okay, so the next item on the agenda, okay, is to um, let's see if I can see it here. It's a five sixteenth, uh, yeah. Okay, so it's 
can't really get a good video picture here. Um, it's a 5 16th Allen key. It's going to take out that um, Allen bolt right there. Okay. And this one, it's in pretty good shape, this one here. We're just going to reuse it. In most cases, you can reuse it. Um, the one on the other side, it didn't look too healthy. So, Okay, next item on the agenda, there's two 5.8s. Nuts, or that have to come off here. Okay, so you just get a, just a regular socket, you know, 5.8s back them both off when you're putting these on you don't need to reef them okay they don't they don't need to be on that tight um, I usually cheat at this point and um, put a gun on here Grab this before it falls. Okay, but you can take that off with a regular socket. Um, okay, so that's those two. The one that's in here, the five. You need a five sixteenths Allen key for it. The other side of this, take it off first. It's a three eighths on the other side. And this is all there is. That's two bolts here, there's one here, one on this side, and then there's going to be two at the first. Two on either side. Now these ones here, they're not off yet. Okay, and one at the front. Okay, the bolts at the front, one on each side. Okay, the ones that we previously um, backed off. Okay, we're going to um, we're going to back them off a little bit more. Okay, just enough. So you can see a separation and then you can put a screwdriver in between here okay and you can see it's relatively easy okay and we're gonna we're gonna back this off a bit and take the nuts off the rest of the way okay Okay, so we've now taken the nuts off on both sides, and for all intended purposes, it's loose at this point. Um, at, you want to have a look inside right now, and I'm trying to get a, an angle on this, but I guess that's about all I can get. But the bottom line is, what you're looking for here, is we're looking for, this is dry can't really, I was going to wet it with my finger to see if that would work, but it doesn't really show too well. But what you're looking for is to see if you see any oil running down this shaft here. Because if you do, um, that would mean that the seal above it is leaking. And it's, it's a pretty common item to, uh, to leak. And the reason it starts leaking is usually when you're installing the lower unit into the upper it's very easy to pinch the seal when you're putting it back I mean don't get me wrong it does wear out on its own 
but I think more of them wear out from getting pinched when installing them than they, um, they actually do wearing out. And in this case, it has a lot of hours on this unit and the seal still is, is holding fine. Okay, so we pried it apart with the screwdriver up until this stage. And as you can see it, I mean, I took that off with just the one hand and I'm an old guy. So, okay. And that's your, um, that's the unit there. There was a little oil that came from, um, this oil groove here. This is the passage where you fill it on the bottom, it goes through, comes up, and it goes into here. So that transfers the oil from the bottom when you're filling it up to the top. So if you have a leak, say you get, um, oh I don't know, say fishing line in your um, lower unit. Okay, on the prop where the prop seal is that would be here okay um, the, you have to realize that when when oil or starts coming out of here the first thing that's happened going to happen is the upper gear case here okay which is the gear set that's in the top here is going to run out of oil and the reason is the oil is going to go through this passage here and down into the bottom and it's going to get sucked out of here because there's going to be a vacuum when you're running in the water and you don't see it on the driveway but you'll notice that it's missing um, when you check your oil level you'll see it's dropped and it'll you'll be leaving a stream behind you when you're running in the boat at uh, almost any speed it, it just siphons it out. It makes a vacuum here and takes it out. But sitting in the driveway, it's usually okay. Sometimes in the driveway, on a hot day, the oil will expand and then force it out here. Um, but the fishing line, even though the fishing line's in there, usually, usually what happens is it goes dry at the top um, before you can notice it. it. And then the upper gear set lock up or the bearing seizes or the gears go at the top so it's important you check your oil okay that kind of wraps up um, separating the upper from the lower um, I'm gonna do another video for the water pump entry um, however, for any of you that need to replace the flat style anode, okay, it's number 12710. If you need the, um, if the end of your bolt is corroded like mine, you may need to replace it. It's number 21740. Uh, that's the anode bolt. And the one that goes up and holds the upper to the lower the 5 16 um, Allen bolt, it's number 22430. So again, that 21740 is the one that you use the 3 8 Allen key to take out. And if the 5 8 um, nuts, if you need, to, you know, these ones look a little like they've seen better days, uh, it's number 21170. Uh, normally, you know, if you start getting the corners on the nut all rounded off, you want to you want to start off with some new ones. Okay, so that's number twenty one one seventy, and the next one is a magnetic oil seal. If, if you don't have a magnetic one, uh, you should, and it's number twenty one seven thirty for the drain screw, and it comes with a Teflon. Um, I don't know if you can see it there, but it does have a Teflon washer that goes with it. And that concludes separating the upper from the lower. Thanks for watching.